So because of what's going on right now out of the studio, we are probably going to go down to this is the setup you'll see most times is just two of us. We'll have one model doing the class. We got my buddy Dave here with me today doing the class, and then you'll have a teacher also doing probably the majority of the class just so that we can be with you and do this together. If you have suggestions, things you like, things you don't like, anything that feels good to you, then go ahead and email me. And I hope I'm being, yeah, I think I am being heard. Okay, and we can make adjustments as we need to. So anything that you wanna suggest, anything you feel you can do, go ahead and just email me and I'll get back to you. All right, so for today's class, let's go ahead and start, um, we're gonna start probably in child's pose. So let the knees go wide and let the heart come down towards the mat. Just breathe nice and easy here. So as always, thanks for coming. Again, if you have your the means right now and you can help us continue to keep going, that's great. If things are a little tough for you right now, please, please just continue to come and show up on the mat and we'll, uh, we'll get through this together. If you need to start some music, go ahead and do that. And let's just start initiating some nice deep rhythmic breaths. So let the head come down towards the mat. Spread the fingers wide. Push with your hands and drive your tush back towards your heels. You'll feel your hip flexors, your hamstrings. Pull the belly off the thighs a little bit. Bring your heart slightly forward. Take nice, easy breaths here. Last two breaths. Good, one more breath. Good, let's come up onto our hands and our knees. So right here and on your hands and our knees. So let's dome the back up nice and high. Check out your tummy. Good, let's inhale, let's bring that heart forward. And let's come to neutral. So those are the three sp uh, positions of the spine. Exhale, cat. Roll the spine up nice and high. Inhale into a cow. Find that back bend. And then come into neutral. Pull the belly button to the spine neck. Spine is neutral. Let's extend the right foot just straight back towards the back wall. Breathe nice and easy here. We're just gonna extend this left hand forward and we're gonna find this bird dog. Strong and long from heels to fingertips. Two more breath. Good, one more breath. Let's just drop this left hand down. We're gonna drop this right foot down to the mat. We're just gonna peel this hand up high to the sky, opening up towards the sidewall. Breathe nice and easy here. Two big breath. One more breath and release the hand, release the knee. Nice circular motions, anything round and round and round and round and round and round. All right, let's go ahead and try that other side. So let's take the left foot straight back, the right hand forward, nice and long from heel to fingertip. Breathe nice and easy here. Extend through the heel. Extend through those right fingertips. Breathe nice and easy here. One more breath. Good, drop that right hand down. Drop that left foot down to the mat. Feel your right hand to the mat. Feel the left hand high. You could be here. If you wanna pick that knee up, you might need to bring the hand a little bit forward. You can pick that back leg up. Holding here for three, for two, for one. Release the hand, release the knee. Nice circular motions, anything round and round. All right, so let's just open up this hip socket just a little bit. So we're gonna pick this right knee up and we're just gonna make big circles with the knee. Good, and the other way. Good, and put it on down. All right, let's try the other side. And open up that hip socket. And the other direction. Good, and put it on down. Good, curl the toes under, push up and back to your downward facing dog. Let the heels come down towards the mat. Pull that belly in nice and tight. Set the shoulders into the socket. Two big breath here. One more big breath here. Good, walk the feet forward to the hands. Forward fold, top of the mat. Hang nice and heavy here. Maybe grab opposite elbows, sway a touch side to side. Bend your knees and feel rotation through the pelvis and start to straighten the legs. Feel the hamstrings press back. Feel the crown of the head and the forearms. Reach down towards the toes. Two big breath here. Relax your feet. One more breath here. And release the hands down the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. 
Let's inhale the hands up high to the sky, reach them up high towards the sky, and hands come down into prayer. Two deep cleansing breaths here. Good, inhale the hands back up high to the sky. Grab the left wrist with the right hand, just nice, easy stretch towards the side. And let's come back up through center, switching the grip of the hands. Let's go the other way. Good, switching the grip. Let's come back up to center, reach the hands up high, sit down into chair. Two breath here. One breath here, good. Forward fold, hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Big step back with the left foot. Drop the left knee down to the mat. Let's inhale the hands up high to the sky. Anjali Asana. Lift the heart up, let the head roll back. Breathe nice and easy here. Two big breath. Good. One more breath. And release the hands down to the mat. Power up your back leg. And then rotate through. So left hand down, right hand high. Keep this right knee in tight. Two breath here. One more breath here. Good. Release that hand down to mat. We're in this runner's lunge. Try to get light on your fingertips. Reach through the back heel. Let's inhale up into high lunge. Front knees over, front ankle. Drive through the back heel. Two big breath here. One more breath here. Let's open up warrior two. So as you drop the back heel down, the front foot will come a little bit towards the center of the mat, bend into the knee. We're in this nice long warrior two. Gaze is over the front fingers. Two big breath here. One more breath here. Good, straighten the front leg. Take your hands to your hips. Let's cock this pelvis. Slide this right hand down the right leg all the way somewhere to the shin. Left hand stack straight up and down. Spread the back wide, breathe nice and easy here. So Dave's trying to pull the bottom hip through. He's drawing the top hip back. He's long fingertip to fingertip. The gaze is up at that top thumb. Two more breath. I'm gonna rejoin him in the posture. One more breath. And warrior two. Good, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Let's carve with the hands down. Step that right foot back here in plank. Good, so you can take your vinyasa or lower to the mat with control. Flatten the feet, press into the palms, little baby cobra. Good, back up on the knees and then downward facing dog. That could be your modified vinyasa for today. If you have a more traditional vinyasa, take the one that works for you. Two breath here. One more breath here. Good, walk the feet forward to the hands, coming into forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky, sit down in chair. So big toes are close to touching, heels are slightly apart. Set the shoulders down, breathe nice and easy here. Let the weight rock into the toes. Let the weight rock into the heels and just sit down a little bit lower. One more big breath here. Good. Forward fold, hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Big step back with the right foot. Drop the right knee down to the mat. Flatten your back foot. Inhale the hands up high, Anjali Asana. Breathe nice and easy here. Lift the heart up. Let the head roll back. Look at your thumbs. Good. Release the hands down to the mat. So start by powering up your back leg. Then it's right hand down, left hand high. Let's take two breaths here. One more breath here. And release that hand down to the mat. Light on your fingertips, inhale up into high lunge. Strong through the back leg, drive through the heel. Set the shoulders down, front knees over, front ankle. One more breath here. Good, drop the back heel down, open up warrior two. So we're square here. So my hips are towards the back, the side wall. Front knees over, front ankle, heel bisects the arch of the back foot. Back foot's about parallel to the short edge of the mat. We're long fingertip to fingertip. Let's straighten this front leg. So when I'm first warming up, I'll shorten my stance a touch. Hands will come to the hip. I disco tilt my pelvis. This hand slides down. This hand goes right up and down on top of it. Breathe. So I'm using the drawing from the heel to the hip socket and I'm pulling this left hip through. I'm reaching through the outside edge of the back foot. I'm drawing the top hip back. Now pull the belly in tight. Two more breaths. 
One more breath. And warrior two. Fantastic. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And cart with the hands down, taking your vinyasa. So you might just step back into plank. This time I'm just gonna go plank and then down dog. If you have vinyasa, take your vinyasa. It could be that modified one. It could be a traditional one. Choice is yours. Two big breath here. One more breath here. All right, let's go right foot high to the sky. Step the right foot forward and through. Back heel spins down, inhale up into warrior one. So we're in this nice warrior one. Bend into the front knee, reach to the outside edge of the back foot. Feel your hips square forward. Let's draw our hands to our hips again. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me. So this is your left hand. Draw this left hip forward. Bend this front knee just a touch and then pull into the right hip socket. So the knee's tracking over the middle of the foot. You're reaching to the outside edge of the back foot. Good, let's just release this left hand high. And let's release this right hand high. So if my shoulder's really tight, I would probably be like this, arms kind of forward. Dave's got them nice and straight up and down. So if this is where you need to be even here, this is fine. If you need to keep them here, this is fine. If you can get them to here, awesome. One more breath. Good. Straighten your front leg. Shorten your stance just a little bit. Hands come down to the hips again. From, from the hips, let's go ahead and tilt down over that front thigh pyramid pose. So if you need a block, you can take your block. I forgot to get one. I'm gonna go grab one real quick. Let your heart come down towards your right thigh. Rotate that right hip forward and down. Draw that left hip up and back and breathe nice and easy here. Two more breath. Good. One more breath. Good, all right, bend into the right knee just a little bit, step the left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky, and hands come down into prayer. All right, I'm gonna turn so you can see. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky. Sit down into chair. So, twisting and talking and teaching you guys gets hard because of the rotation from the belly. I'm just gonna take my knee to the middle of, in between my knees. So hands come into prayer. Let's twist. Left elbow towards the right knee or all the way across to the outside of the knee. So I'm middle of the knees. Dave's all the way on the outside of that right knee. Rotate through. Pull the belly in tight. Two more breath here. One more breath here. Forward fold, hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky. Reach them up high towards the sky. Again, sit down into chair. Hands come back into prayer. Again, right elbow towards the left knee. I'm stopping between the knees. Dave's getting all the way to the other side. Breathe. Sit down a little bit lower. Two more breath. One more breath. And forward fold, hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Make your way back through vinyasa to downward facing dog. So again, you could step right back into plank and down dog, or you could go through a vinyasa to down dog. Breathe. So not every vinyasa needs to be the same. Sometimes you might drop one knee or two. Sometimes you might go right to down dog. Sometimes you'll go all the way down. Sometimes you'll take a classical left foot high. Reach up nice and high. Step the left foot forward and through. Back heel spins down. Inhale up into warrior one. So again, front knee tracks over the middle of the front foot. Reach to the outside edge of the back foot. Bring your hands to your hips. Rotate the right hip forward. Draw the left hip back. Bend the front knee. There it is. One hand high, then the other. Set your shoulders down. Again, if this hurts your shoulders, don't be afraid to be a little bit forward. Breathe. Two big breath here. One more breath here. All right, let's straighten this left leg. Shorten your stance just a little bit. So again, I'm gonna set up with my blocks, folding over that front thigh. Let the heart come down towards the thigh. Breathe. 
So I'm light on these blocks. I've been doing a little more yoga, formerly in terms of classes lately. So I can even take my blocks now and go to their lowest setting. Breathe. When I first started again, I was way up high here, blocks way high. Be okay with where you're at today. Two more breath. One more breath. Good. Bend in the front knee, step the right foot forward to meet the left forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Good, inhale the hands up high to the sky. And hands come down into prayer. All right, let's play with some balance. So we're at the top of the mat. Let's let the weight shift into your right foot. Left foot could be here like a kickstand. This is perfectly acceptable. Next place it would be is calf. Again, great. If you go here, not so great. Lateral pressure on the knee, not good. If you wanna go higher than the calf, you need to skip the knee completely and bring your foot to the groin, hands come into prayer. All right, release the hands to the high. Set the shoulders down. Breathe nice and easy here. We're gonna take three more breath here. Two more breath here. One more breath here and release. Good, shake it out. All right, so for those of you that practice with me in some of my more advanced classes, feel free to ratchet this class up at any time that you want to. Is there something you want to play with? All right, start here. Tree on the other side. Maybe calf. Again, if you want to go above the knee, you have to go above the knee. Hands go into prayer, release into the high. Let's take a few breaths here. So this hip's a little tighter, so I'm going to take this one below the knee, just so that it can be where it needs to be. Dave's finding his balance. He locked his core in. He's going to take a nice relax, both hands high, set the shoulders down and breathe. Now he's steady. Two more breaths. Last breath. Good, and release. Awesome, guys. Inhale the hands up high to the sky. And then exhale forward, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale forward, fold. Good. Make your way back through vinyasa to down dog. Two big breath here. One more breath here. All right, let's go right foot high to the sky. Step the right foot forward and through. Inhale up into that warrior one. We were just here in warrior one. Big inhale here. The exhale is a warrior two back wall. So you swivel and turn your feet and go warrior two back wall. Flip the left palm, reverse the warrior. Extended side angle. So nice and long, extend the right hand up over the head, palm facing down, fingertips reaching towards the wall. Reach to the outside edge of the back foot. Get as long from the right heel to the right fingertips as you can. Two more breath here. One more breath here. Good, back to warrior two. Goddess towards the side wall, toes out, heels in, sink down nice and low. Sorry for the shot of my tush right here. One more breath here. Good, warrior two, front wall. Let's flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And let's go extend the side down again. Right elbow down to the knee, left hand up over the head. We're long and strong. Breathe. So feel the outside edge of your left foot. Reach through the fingertips of the left hand. Use the right elbow to rotate the bottom rib cage through. Use the reach of the left hand to draw the top shoulder back. Two more breath. One more breath. Good, warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Let's cart with the hands down. As we step back, we're gonna take side plank. So I'm gonna drop this left knee down to the mat. Left hand down, right hand high. So I'm in this modified. Dave's in a traditional. He stacked his feet. Upper body's like mine, but he has both legs off the ground. You could be somewhere between us. Maybe the legs are side by side here, wherever you wanna be. Let's release that hand down to the mat and take a vinyasa to down dog. Two big breath here. One more breath here. All right, left foot high. Step the left foot forward and through. Back heel spins down. Inhale up, warrior one. So we're squared up towards that front wall. Reach the outside edge of the back foot, bend into the front knee. Big inhale here. Exhale, warrior two, back wall. 
So warrior two is a longer stance. So don't be afraid to go longer. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. So extended side angle. So far the same flow. Once we feel our length, we're gonna sink it long. We're gonna drop this left hand down behind the back. We're gonna take a half bind. You could slide the elbow in front of the knee. You could come to this modified half bind. If you have full bind, go full bind. Compromise between the two is, this right hand finds the left hand behind my back. I drop the elbow in front of the knee, three quarter bind. Breathe. Two more breath here. One more breath here. Good, warrior two. Got us towards me. Toes out, heels in. Little wiggle left and right. Breathe nice and easy. Maybe still a little lower. Good, warrior two front wall. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Extended side angle. Again, first you find your length. Then you find your half bind. Then you ratchet up your way. You could just stay here. Elbow could slide, it could be here. You go three quarter, you can go full. Let's take a few breaths here. Two more breath. One more breath. And warrior two. Good, flip the palm versus the warrior. Let's part with the hands down, step back and take that Vashti Stassen again. Again, I'm gonna drop the right knee down. Dave's gonna stack the feet. Peel the left hand high. Two breath here. One more breath here. And let's release that hand down to the mat. Make your way to down dog. So I'm gonna step back into plank and then I'm just gonna push to down dog this time. Breathe. Two more breath. One more breath. Good, walk the feet forward, the hands forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward, fold. Good, inhale the hands up high to the sky and hands come down into prayer, breathe. Okay, I'm gonna turn sideways. Just stay the direction you're facing. All right, so we're gonna play with a warrior three here. So from this, we're gonna take a mule kick back into warrior three. I want you to think about, as the torso comes down, that extending back leg takes you into balance. Okay, I'll turn sideways again. Let's pull this right knee up high. So from here, I could just start to tilt just a little bit. This could be my warrior three. Maybe it's here, maybe it's here, maybe it's here. Can you control yourself into your fullest expression? Breathe. Two big breaths here. Block modification is awesome. Dave showing a beautiful modification. Maybe hands are back to give you some stability. Last breath. Good, step back warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two, straighten your left leg, turn your toes, hands high, forward fold all the way down. Let the head come down towards the mat. You can grab ankles, calves, or feet. A couple of you have safe inversions. If you have room in your home and it's safe to go, do it. If not, just hang here in this wide leg forward fold. That's where I'm hanging today. Breathe. And let's all meet down if you're up in that inversion. Good, inhale to a halfway lift, head up, eyes forward. Good, so we're gonna bend this right knee. And we're gonna take this left hand down. We're gonna peel the right hand high. Good, as we straighten the right leg, we're gonna bend the left leg, we're gonna switch hands. Again, bend the right knee, left hand down, right hand high. Bend the left knee, right hand down, left hand high. Good, come back to the center. Straighten both legs, bring your hands to your hips. Get long through your spine. Pull yourself up. Good, warrior two front wall. Let's flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And cart with the hands down. Step the foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale the hands up high to the sky and hands come down into prayer. Two breath here. All right, so we're gonna try that on the other side. So again, if this is what your warrior three looks like, if I'm here and I just tilt this much, this is awesome. My spine is long, everything's where it should be. 
if I can go here, this is great. And then anything you can do till you get to parallel. All right, so let's pull this left knee up. With control, start mule kicking back. Find your control, breathe. Again, hands could find those blocks. Hands could stay at prayer. Hands could reach back. I find the reach back gives you the most stability for some reason for me. More than hands forward, error at prayer. Two more breath. Good, one more breath. Good, step back, warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. Straighten your right leg, turn your toes towards the sidewall. Inhale the hands up high to the sky. Good, forward, forward, all the way down. Let the head come down, breathe. Again, you could grab ankles, calves, or feet. You could walk your hands back towards the wall behind you, through your legs, trying to draw your head down to the mat. Breathe nice and easy here. Two more big breath here. Good, one more breath here. And let's come up into a halfway lift. All right, so take your feet a little wider and let's drop into this hip socket. This time, pick the left toes up. So drop into the right hip socket, pick the left toe up, point it towards the sky. Good, come back to center. Hands can stay on the ground. Let's go to this other side. Pick the toe up. One more time, back to the right. Pick the toe up. One more time, back to the left. Pick the toe up. Good. Come back to the center. Halfway lift, hands to the waist. Good, stand up tall. Awesome work, guys. Inhale the hands up high to the sky. Warrior two front wall. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Part with the hands down, set the foot back. Let's take a vinyasa. <laughs> Breathe nice and easy here. Last two breaths. Good, last big breath. All right, right foot goes high to the sky, point the toe, roll the hip open and bend the knee. You could stay here. If you want to flip your dog, you'll drop the right foot down, pick the right hand up, find a back, nice back bend. Let's come back to a down dog split. Step the right foot forward and through, go right into warrior two. So I'm gonna turn around so you can see me. So we're bent in this front leg. So the same theory that we kind of played with in that, in that warrior three, I want to apply this half moon. So if you're just shorten your stance a little bit, just like I did, and you're here with the arms, these are connected. They have to go up and down together. So if your half moon just looked like this, I caught the weight and I'm here. This is awesome. If you can go more, go more. Find it till you're there. Find that half moon. When we get there, let's take three breath. Two more breath. One more breath, step back warrior two. Fantastic, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Stay in this reverse warrior, just straighten your front leg, find length. Breathe. And warrior two. So in this round of this half moon, what I want you to think about is, once you start, you're gonna keep that continual motion till you get to the posture that's your expression of the posture. Whatever that tilt is, so it's going to look like this. The weight's going to shift. I'm going to keep moving until I find my expression. Go ahead and take it. Breathe. Hold it here for four. Maybe look to the side wall for three, for two, for one. Good. Step back, warrior two. Fantastic. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Let's carve with the hands down both sides of that right foot. Drop the left knee down to the mat. Let's straighten this front leg. Half split. If you're a full split type of person, you can go full split. So my tush is over my knee. My right toes are curled back toward me. My heart is coming down my thigh. And the crown of my head is reaching towards my toe. We're just gonna take a couple deep breaths here. Last two breaths. Good. Last big breath. All right, let's drop that right foot down. Power up your back leg, walk your hands slightly forward, kick up standing split, left foot goes high.
One more big breath here. Drop the left foot down next to the right, forward fold. Inhale the hands up high to the sky. And hands come down into prayer. All right, so we're gonna play with dancer. So I'm gonna go over to the side wall so that we can see me. Hopefully you can see me. <laughs> I get out of camera. Let me back up a little bit. Dave, go forward a little bit. All right, you're good. No, you're good. Just top of the mat. All right, so I'm here. So we're going to do it still on the right side. So left hand takes left angle. Right hand can be high. So you maybe you're here like Dave is. If you need a wall, fingertips to the wall. I'm light on this wall. I'll start to kick, reach and tilt, finding a beautiful back bend, maybe trying to get my hand off the wall a little bit to find balance and control. If you have full expression, take it, breathe, breathe. Even I can start to get my foot up pretty high and release. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. So don't be afraid to use a wall to get a little bit higher. It let me have stability and I focused on what? Driving my foot up in my full back bend. All right, inhale, hands up high to the sky. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. You can grab peace fingers to the toes. Let the elbows splay away. Breathe nice and easy here. Two big breaths. One more breath. And halfway lift and forward fold. You gotta take your feet out nice and wide. You sink into yogic squat. So breathe. So my hips are a little tight. I ran, I think five miles yesterday with my buddy Bo. We'll be running again today. All right, hands are here. So you could stay here in this crow. I mean, in this, in this squat. If you wanna take crow, here's what I want you to do. Step your feet together and make a V. Why? If I take my legs out wide, sometimes what that does is it makes the hip sockets start to externally rotate and flatten. So by bringing the heels together. Now I'm gonna take my hands down and I'm gonna draw my knees to the sides of my arms. I'm gonna let the weight shift forward and I'm gonna keep going forward until my toes feel light. Feel the engagement up, nice and then rock back. Now, if you have no success with that one, Dave showed it to me the other day. He plays with this, what do you call it? A, a flying frog. So he gets the knees out wide like this. Feel what this does to the hip socket. So it's a very different feel. But what it does to help you do, and the reason I brought it up is, it helps you feel that balance of coming into hands. Just understand the difference between flying frog is what? complete external rotation of the hip sockets. Crow, once you find crow, you wanna start getting to internal rotation. But anything that helps you find that float is fine. Good, make your way back through vinyasa to down dog when you're ready. So when you're using your, these postures to find that balance, that crow, understand that the first thing you have to understand is weight distribution. And that flying frog is a wonderful way to feel that. Two breath here. One more breath here. Left foot high. Point the toe, roll the hip open and bend the knee. If you want to flip your dog, flip it on over. Let's come back to a down dog split. Step the left foot forward and through. Good, warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. All right, weight shift. So we're gonna shorten our stance. So again, I don't care how much you go into half moon. It could be this. It could be with the toe down. This is beautiful. This is a little bit more intense, a little more intense, a little more intense. Then I'll start getting to full expression. Hold it here for three, for two, for one. Step back, warrior two. Awesome. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. All right, so. This time again, once we start to move, we're gonna keep moving till we find our fullest expression, not my fullest expression, not Dave's. Let's go, let the weight shift, start tilting into it, find it, breathe. Once you have it, can you look towards the camera and see if I'm doing okay? Two more breath here. One more breath here. Good, step back, warrior two. Fantastic, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Part with the hands down, both sides of that left foot, drop the right knee down to the mat, straighten your left leg. Half or full split. So 
to know what other things you do. If you're a big runner and you're not traditionally flexible, a full split's gonna be tough, even bikers. If you're a dancer, full split might be a resting pose for you. Breathe. Last two breath here. Last one breath here. All right, let's bend into that front knee. Power up your back leg. Kick up standing split, right foot goes high. Drop the right foot down next to left forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Good, inhale the hands up high to the sky, and hands come down into prayer. So again, don't be afraid to use that wall if you need that wall for this dancer. All it's gonna do is give you some stability, and it's gonna help you find your kick. A better back bend is, so the wall with that beautiful back bend like you saw me do last time is so much better than this. This is nothing, okay? It might feel like it because you think you're there, you're tilting down, it's nothing. You have to get into your back bend. So let's grab it. Left hand, left ankle, right hand high. Now that's the same side, isn't it? Reach and kick and find entourage, I think it is. We had left foot forward. Let's grab that right ankle. Good, start reaching and kicking. Drive the toe up and back. Even I'm starting to get my toe up over my head. Breathe for three, for two, for one, and release. Good, so one of your enemies in dancer is this upper rib joint. If this upper rib doesn't like to do this, so if you're here and you can really open up and let your head drift back in, in line with that spine, then your upper thoracic spine is good. If you're here doing this just does not feel good, then dance is gonna be tough. All right, take the feet nice and wide, sing down yogic squat. Breathe. So again, I'll wiggle myself down. I'll get there eventually. Breathe. Hands come into prayer. All right, if you want to go into that crow again, take that crow. So maybe play with that flying frog a little bit. If you can, hands down. Feel the knees come maybe up onto the triceps this time. Weight shifts forward and let the weight float. And make your way back through a vinyasa to down dog when you're ready. High to low push up, upward facing dog. And let's go back to a downward facing dog. Two big breath here. One more breath here. All right, right foot goes high to the sky. Step the right foot forward and through. Inhale up into high lunge. Strong through the back leg, drive through the heel. Hands come into prayer, prayer twist. So I'm gonna take my left elbow, I'm gonna put it on top of the knee, and I'm gonna be here. If you can get it all the way to the right side, that's fine. Strong back leg. Two more breath. One more breath. Release the hands down, runner's lunge. Inhale up into high lunge. Let's open up warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. Hands drop down behind the back. Take your right shoulder inside of your right knee. Take your knuckles towards the sky. That hurts my shoulders. So my knuckles are just reaching back. Maybe a little bit up. Two more breath. One more breath. Good, release the hands down inside of the right foot. Drop the right knee down to the mat. So maybe you need blocks here to go into lizard. Maybe you don't. Maybe the back knee's up or down. I'm gonna roll to the knife's edge side of this foot a little bit. I'm gonna let these blocks help me a little bit. Breathe. I've been teaching and doing a lot of yoga these last two weeks. So I'm gonna be kind to my body, especially when it's a level one class, when we can afford to take it a little bit slower, find our form, let's breathe. If you wanna pick up that back knee, pick it on up. So I'm gonna turn this block a little bit sideways and I'm just gonna be here, just opening up. Dave actually got to the foot. I probably could, but I'm gonna stay right here for now. One more big breath. Good, and let's drop that hand down. Good, step that right foot back to meet the left. 
Come onto your forearms and take forearm plank. Breathe. Two more breath. One more breath. Release the pelvis down, let the heart come forward. Long through your spine, sphinx pose. Breathe nice and easy here. Two more breath. One more breath and release down. Turn your cheek to your mat, release your hands back towards the back wall. All right, let's inhale up into Shalambhasana. Everything comes up. Get the head up, get the heart up, get the thighs up. And release down, turn your cheek to the mat. All right, let's try that again. Inhale, everything comes up. Get the head up, get the heart up, get the thighs up. Two more breaths. One more breath, release down. Turn your cheek to the mat. Hands come to the sides of the chest, push up and back onto hands and knees. All right, let's exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. And inhale, cow. All right, we're gonna go with our right hand down to the mat, left hand to the sky. Shoot the left arm down and through, come down onto that shoulder, palm facing up. Thread the needle. So I'm just extending my right hand up over my head. I'm reaching the left arm through. I'm just gonna stay here. Knees in line with each other. I'm trying to rotate the top shoulder back. Two more big breath here. One more big breath here. And let's unwind. Going back onto all fours. All right, let's go left hand down, right hand high. And shoot that arm down and through, come down onto that shoulder, extend the left arm up over the head, palm facing down. Breathe nice and easy here. Two more breath here. One more breath here. And let's unwind, coming back onto all fours. Good, curl the toes under, push up and back, downward facing dog. Left foot goes high. Step the left foot forward and through. Inhale up into high lunge. Hands come into prayer. Again, right elbow to the left knee. Maybe to the left side of the left knee. Hands come into prayer. Breathe. Strong back leg. Front knee over front ankle. Two more breath here. One more breath here. Release the hands down. Inhale up into high lunge. Open up warrior two. Hands drop down behind the back. Good, take your left shoulder inside of your left knee. Take your knuckles towards the sky. Breathe. Two big breath here. And another big breath here. Release the hands down inside of that foot. Take the foot out to the side. Drop the back knee down to the mat. Again. Blocks can be your friend. Back knee up or down. Try to get your forms down. Take a couple breaths here. Maybe roll to the knife side, side of that left foot. Again, I'm going to play with that little back bend. So I'm going to turn my right arm sideways. Take my left hand high and just reach towards the back wall. Breathe. Two more breaths here. One more breath here. Good. Press into your forearms. Send your left foot back to meet your right. Forearm plank. Let's hold it here. And drop the knees down to the mat. Child's pose. All right, let's come back up on our knees. So before we hit the floor for good, we're gonna come up on our knees. We're gonna play with camel. So the key to this one is like we were talking about earlier. 
it's this upper thoracic spine, this hinge. Maybe hands start here, tailbone is neutral. Push it forward, lift the heart up, let the head drift back. If your hands can drop down to these ankles, let them drop down and find those ankles. Let's take three breath here. Two breath here. One more breath. And let's come out. Child's pose. Let's try that one more time. So again, up on the knees. Pelvis starts neutral. So as the pelvis pushes forward, I start to hinge. I lift the heart up with the head roll back, draw my elbows together. I could just be here. If I can drop them down, my toes are curled under, so my heels are high. Maybe my feet are flat, maybe they're like this. Two more breaths, one more breath, and then come out, child's pose. All right, let's come back up on turkeys. All right, so I wanna play with pigeon a little bit today, but I wanna go into it a little bit differently than I normally would. So what I want you to do is take your right leg and take it as parallel to the front of the mat as you can. Your left leg could be bent in sideways. So I'm like this. So from here, I'm gonna reach a little bit towards my right side. Now, as these hands come towards center, I extend my left leg back and let my heart come down towards the mat. Feel the rotation into it. So walk your hands towards center, reach through your left leg and draw your left hip down. Let the head come down towards the mat. Let's take a few breaths here. Find your pigeon. We're gonna be here about a minute, so just relax into it. You're about halfway there. Last few breaths. Good, as you come up, let's drop onto this right butt cheek. Let's swing this left foot forward. I forgot to take this cord behind through my shirt today, so it's been bothering me all day. All right, stack the feet, double pigeon. So my left ankle's on my right knee. My left knee's coming down towards my right ankle. Just to sit up tall here and gather everything up, this could be more than enough. My hips are crying right now. So I'm just gonna hinge forward just a little bit. Some people can take their elbows in front of them and then drop them down the mat. Dave got there, but he's using a block to help support his knees. Really well done, breathe. Two more breath. One more breath. All right, let's come up. All right, so left shin parallel. Right leg, it's bent, it's here. My hands start to the side, to the left side. So all I do is I, as I drift them forward, I reach through the back leg and pull that right hip down and draw into the left hip socket. If I need to readjust a little bit that left leg, I'll do it and then return to it. Breathe. If you don't like pigeon, reclining pigeon on your back, it's a fine place to be here. Breathe. Two more breath. I'm sorry, we have about another 20 seconds here, guys. Breathe. Last two breath. Last breath. And let's drop onto this left butt cheek. Swing this right foot forward. So again, right ankle onto the knee. This one tries to come down. Breathe. 
curl the toes back towards your shins. So this hip's a little bit tighter. This knee's a little bit up off of it. I'm just gonna work on pulling this down. I'm not even gonna hinge. I'm just, my hip sockets are saying, yeah, buddy, breathe. Breathe. Two more breath. Good, one more breath and let's come up. All right, extend the right foot forward, forward fold towards your right leg. Johnny Shearshasen. Maybe you're grabbing calf, ankle, foot. Think about bringing your chin just below your knee and then bring your chin towards your chest like you're trying to touch the top of your head with your right big toe. Two more breath here. One more breath here and let's come up. Good, let's switch sides. So again, forward fold. Curl the toe back towards you and bring your heart forward. Breathe nice and easy here. Two more breath. One more breath. Let's come up, good. Soles the feet together, knees out wide. Baddha Konasana, sit up tall. Pull the belly in tight, shoulders down. You could be here. You, maybe you're here, elbows to the front of the shins, pulling your heart forward. Maybe your hands are completely forward and you've got your heart down on your toes. Let's take a few breaths here. Last two breaths. Last one breath. And let's come up. All right, both feet forward. Don't be afraid to bend the knees a little bit. Forward fold, Pashimottanasana. Got about 20 more seconds here. Last two breath. Last one breath. And let's come up. Good, let's just take the hands behind us, fingertips facing the back wall, lift the heart up at the head roll back. This is like a really gentle fish pose. Lift the heart up, let the head drift back, arms are straight and long. I'll turn a little sideways. We're just here, just a nice easy stretch. And let's go all the way onto our backs. All right, shoulders the feet together, knees out nice and wide, soup to Baddha Konasana, one hand to the heart, one hand to the tummy. Let's take a couple of breaths here. Last two breaths like this. All right, feet flat down the mat, hands by your side for bridge. Just push your pelvis to the sky, finding bridge. If you have wheel and you'd rather go there, go wheel. And release down. We should wipe with those knees left and right and left and right. All right, next one, when you're ready, bridge your wheel. Two more breath here. One more breath here, and then release down, windshield wipe with those knees left and right, and left and right. All right, if you wanna do an inversion, you could do a headstand or a handstand, right? If you wanna go into just legs up the wall, just take legs up the wall, maybe on a block, I'm doing it on a block just in the middle of my mat. Got about a minute here, just breathe. You're in that headstand or shoulder stand, just relax into it, create length. If you got legs up the wall, just find your legs up the wall, breathe.
A few more breaths in whatever you're playing with. When you're ready, you can make your way down onto your backs. If you're in that headstand or handstand, please take child's pose first. Then meet us on our backs. If you're in plow, if you're in shoulder stand, go to plow, then meet us on our backs one vertebrae at a time. Once you get there, legs are long, hands up underneath the bum. Lift the heart up with the head drift back. Fish pose. Breathe. Point your toes forward, reach through the toes. Breathe. And release down. If you want to take happy baby, grab the outsides of the feet. So maybe you're just hugging your knees and rocking side to side. If you want to grab the outsides of the feet and pull the knees down to the armpits, absolutely do that. A couple breaths here. Shoulders back and down, get long through the spine, long from tailbone to crown of head. Last two breaths, last one breath. Let's release that finding funnel relaxation. So release your legs long, relax down onto the mat and breathe. So as yogis, a lot of us have very specific patterns of what we do. We tend to go to the same class every week. Maybe it's your Monday, Wednesday, Friday class. Maybe it's your every day at 9.45. Maybe you have different times during the week. Maybe you're 10 o'clock on Saturday and Sunday, and then you make like two classes during the week on Tuesday and Thursday. And what we all tend to have a rhythm. And what I think has happened with this whole virus thing is our rhythms have been disrupted. We're home more probably than we've ever been. Our workout schedules are different. Even I had to adjust my times a little bit <clears throat> to make it work. I don't offer as many classes as I used to, but I do try to have three a day streaming. And I now have a library of over 40 classes online, on demand, anytime you want to use them. But being out of your normal schedule can really throw you off. So how do you deal with something like that? You quickly adjust to a new schedule. Find yourself a new schedule. Maybe it's you take all my classes on demand at your regular time that you used to take it all the time, and that's your schedule. If you used to work on the afternoon, maybe you continue work in the afternoon. Maybe you scrap your old schedule completely and you create a new schedule, but find a schedule. Routines are good. I always joke that I do not have a routine. I don't work out the same time every day. I don't do the same thing every day. I don't do the same thing every week in terms of workouts. Sometimes I run long, sometimes I bike long, sometimes I lift, sometimes I do a lot of yoga, sometimes I do whatever else I'm in the mood to do, a hike, maybe racquetball or something, just something to be different. But here's the consistency. I do something every day, and that's my rhythm. As long as I get something done every day, I find my rhythm, and I'm okay with that. Sometimes it's 10.30, 11 o'clock at night, and I'm going down to work out. And I'm okay with that. I still need to get it out. So find a rhythm that works for you. Get yourself on a routine, something that you can manage. Remind your loved ones that, hey, I take a yoga class from this time to this time. Just give me that hour. Because I promise you, when you take that hour for you, whether it's with me or just doing it on your own or some other workout, you will be a much better, kinder person when you're done. So I had a very good friend that was a yogi who has since moved out of town who was here for a while and her and her husband came into some tough times and she could not rationalize the belonging to the gym and to the yoga studio. So she fell out because her husband said, well, you don't wanna do it, it's too expensive, pick one or the other, so she did. After about three weeks, he said, go back to yoga. Because she had fallen out of her routine with the stuff that made her sane. And they realized that 
the few extra dollars for her to be in a class that calmed her down, made her feel good, connected with friends was worth it. So don't cheap out on yourself right now. Make sure you take time for yourself. Let's start to bring some attention back to our fingers and our toes, giving them a wiggle. Pull the knees into the chest when you're ready. Give them a hug, rolling to your right side, and then push to a seated position facing the front of the room. Hands come into prayer, heart center. Let's sit up tall and long. Big inhale through the nose, big exhale the mouth. Ha. Ah. One more time, big inhale, big exhale. Thumbs come to the third eye as we bow forward. Namaste. So one of the things I've really enjoyed is connecting with you guys through Instagram, through Facebook, and through Zoom so that I can see you and see that you're still keeping up your yoga. Another great thing has been that I've been able to take more yoga classes than I used to doing. And I'm learning from my friends, my other teachers. I picked up a really cool flow from Dave the other day and used it last night. It was a lot of fun to play with. I stole one from Stephanie just the other day too. She just walked in the door. So everyone have a great day. Try and enjoy this beautiful pollution-free air that we have right now. And until next time when we see you at the studio. Namaste.